graphing rotations. We've learned that positive rotations turn clockwise and negative rotations turn counterclockwise. To rotate a figure in the coordinate plane, we rotate each of its vertices, then connect the vertices to form the image. If the vertices of the pre-image are labeled going clockwise, then the labels of the image should go clockwise and vice versa. If they're going counterclockwise, then the image should be labeled going counterclockwise. Triangle ABC is on the y-axis in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. We have rotated triangle ABC 90 degrees around the origin as the center of rotation. It moved clockwise from the y-axis to the x-axis. First, we rotate each vertex, label each carefully, then connect the vertices to form triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Point A and point A prime share the origin as their ordered pair, 0, 0. We can use common sense to rotate triangle ABC 90 degrees. 90 degrees is positive. It's not a negative 90 degrees, it's a positive 90 degrees, so it's rotated clockwise. The y-axis is perpendicular to the x-axis, and they make a 90-degree angle. Triangle ABC is on the y-axis, so triangle A prime, B prime, C prime will be on the x-axis. B is two units to the left of the y-axis, so B prime will be two units above the x-axis. C is two units to the right of the y-axis, so C prime will be two units below the x-axis. By rotating triangle ABC negative 270 degrees, it will move counterclockwise and result in the same image as rotating it 90 degrees. A circle is 360 degrees. We move 90 degrees for each quadrant. 90 times 4 is 360. Each quadrant we move through will be another 90 degrees. So this, from this y-axis up here, we would go 90, then 180, then 270, and because we're going counterclockwise, that would be a negative 270 degrees. Quadrilateral ABCD rotated 180 degrees from quadrant 1 to quadrant 3. The pre-image for quadrilateral ABCD has A at the point 0, 0 at the origin. So does the image quadrilateral A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. It's also at 0, 0. That is the center of rotation. B is at 2 for x, 3 for y, and B prime is at negative 2 for x, negative 3 for y. Do you see what happened? These have a positive 2, a positive 3. This is negative 2, negative 3. And look at C. It goes from 7 for x and 3 for y to a negative 7 for x, negative 3 for y. And for D, we're at 5 for x, 0 for y. And for D prime, we're at negative 5, 0. The size and shape of the figure were preserved, but the orientation changed. So for transformations, which are functions, we have translations, which are a slide, reflections, which are a flip, and rotations, which are a turn. We're finished with lesson 9.3 and moving on to 9.4, and we're going to learn how to algebraically represent translations, reflections, and rotations. Make sure you label your image correctly going counterclockwise or clockwise the same direction as the pre-image. And have a great day, and join me for 9.4. Bye.